What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be making one of Skull Island's hidden creatures that we have not seen yet. And that is going to be the Vine Snake. Now what you're going to need is a pretty long snake. I got lucky finding this one. But I am also going to need a open mouth snake. And I got lucky finding this one because the size of the head matches this one. And it also has the open mouth. Now this is, if the camera will focus, it's a water moccasin. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You want to have the closed mouth, but if you're going to do this, you need to cut close to the head on this one and this one right here. And there we go. I got the head on there. Looks pretty good. I also use some liquid green stuff to hide some seams where the neck and head will look a little bit better. Give you all that little 360 look on it. Now we're going to go on and start the painting. And to do that we need our prime. Now right here I have dark gray. All right, I got the prime on there. Give you that little 360 look. Now we're going to move on to our main color for the body. And that is going to be a almost like a swampy like green. But we're going to add some yellow and some white to it to get it where it won't be as dark. All right, we got that on there. Kind of looks like gold on camera, but it's not. The only spot I don't I recommend not putting paint on is inside the mouth. Is we're gonna to touch up on that later. But now we're gonna move on to our next color. And that is basically a darker version of what we just put on. But make sure you water down the paint so it will slink into the creases. The camera froze, there we go. As you can see where I got some of the gold still look right there, but I didn't do on the underbelly so it can keep that lighter color. Now we're gonna need a paper towel. So we're gonna dry the brush some brown well it's not brown it's more of a swampy brown All right, I got that taken care of. Getting closer to that vine color.
You know, a little bit, bit of that 360 look. Now we're going to need a paper towel. I'm going to use the same one, but just going to flip it to a cleaner side. And we're going to use a lighter color. It's basically the same thing, just don't add brown to it or to add some little bit of green to it. And what we're going to do is just like the top part of the snake so it can have that little bit of a highlight. Now I'm sorry everyone I lost the footage to this. I was adding a black wash but I also went and did the eyes and mouth. The eyes and as you can see right there, I got the teeth. Give y'all a little bit closer look on it. Now the eyes, I used a yellowish orange for the eyes and black for the pupil. Now the pupil, I went with the straight pupil instead of the round one. If the camera would focus, you could see it better. Let's see if, if I zoom in, maybe it'll clear up. There we go. Like I said, you can see it a little bit better. I went with the straight iris. Now the mouth I went with like a pinkish flesh tone. And on the all the way inside, I did a black wash on the inside to give it more depth. And I also added a little black dot on the, t on the bottom of the mouth for where the tongue would sit, is at. But the teeth, I used a bone white. Now, as you can see where the black wash came into play, and you can see where the brown and everything kind of blend together. Yep, I dropped out. I didn't mean to do that. But there's the vine snake. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see everybody next time.